G'day, welcome to Nurse on the Go videos. My name's Phil, and today i um, just starting a bit of a journal diary um, post my accident. I had a bit of an accident uh, about four days ago now where I got a pair of second tears and actually stuck them in my arm. Good job. And um, severed one of my arteries. So I've had that all repaired. And I thought, well, I'm going through a few things here, so I might as well put them down, get them out there, and share them with other people, see if you've had similar experiences, and just show you how I'm working through it all. So day four, um, one thing I've had is absolutely no pain with this injury at all. Like, it's about a 10 centimeter cut I've had, and all the repairs, and I have had haven't had any pain, so I haven't required any um, pain killing medication so that's been fortunate um, I do feel a little bit of pressure in there because the doctor said I lost so much blood inside my arm that it will come out and the wound is so tight that he said you will feel a lot of pressure so keeping my arm up has been the number one priority all day so it, trying to do that it gets quite heavy after a while especially on your back so my back and shoulder are getting a bit sore trying to keep this arm elevated because you want it above your heart to drain all that fluid back to your body not into your arm because it could pop my stitches if I if it builds up too much pressure so trying to do that now when it comes to sleeping that's always good because I'm not used to sleeping on my, on my back I'm always sleeping on my side so I'm trying to put a pillow next to me and rest my arm on top of that pillow and keep my arm elevated So, keeping my arm up on a pillow so it's above my heart line. And the other thing I was doing is I was resting it against there when I, when I got sick of having it like that. It's very hard because you're extending your shoulder, so putting it up like that too helped as well. But then I'm waking up overnight, banging this against the side, waking myself up. So it's been a bit... You know, sleep's been like one or two hour, at two hours at a time, and then I'm having to readjust myself, readjust my my arm, wake up, feel that it's heavy, and roll around. So sleep is a bit deprived at the moment. Um, other things that are happening is I've got a bit of at the actual scar site here. They said give it a tap a few times a day, and I can see why because. The nerve endings start to heal together, and if you tap it, it actually helps them desensitise because it does feel a bit sensitive when you touch it. So, to stop your scar becoming hypersensitive, they say give it a little tap, just very lightly. So I've been doing that three or four times a day, um, and see what happens. It's not you won't see the results of that until the wounds all healed. So hopefully that will keep it all really good. Other problems are because I do have a wife and four kids under six, um, my wife was actually frustrated with me today. She goes, why did you do your arm for? She goes, I want you to put the washing out so I can do the vacuuming, get the kids ready to go to school. And I said, I can still do the washing. Um, I, I've still got one good hand, so I had a crack. She goes, oh, but you won't do it straight because she likes everything perfect. So it did take me a bit of time, but uh, I felt good that I could help her out. I said, well, I'll do the washing. So one hand, I'm slinging it over the wash line, trying to peg it in. Then I'll try and straighten it up with one hand and sling the other bit of the sheet over and peg that in and get it all straight. And it come good. Well, I reckon it did anyway. So um, I'll show you a bit of a picture of it. But um, I've got all the washing on. She managed to get everything done. So, you know, that frustration she had thinking, oh, I've got this disability now, how are you going to get through it? It's like, you've got to say to yourself, yeah, I can, give it a crack. So you've got to do that stuff. I see the surgeon on day seven, I think. So he'll have a look and see how the wound's going because I, I can't take it down at the moment. So I'm still on antibiotics because I did it in the garden and it was dirty second tears. Um, my biggest fear is an infection in that area, um, which is a high risk area because of how deep the wound was and how dirty it was. So 
hopefully, fingers crossed, all is well at the moment. Um, the things I'd be looking out for if I did have uh, an infection in there is increased pain in the area, which I don't have, increased swelling. If the wound started getting smelly, I'd notice that. Or if I noticed any red marks up my fingers, like down here or up here above the wound, if I started noticing any redness, then I'd start to get worried. Or even if I got some temperatures, and the way I'd know that is if I had fevers or chills, not feeling quite right, um, that can also be signs of infection. And then I'd have to go back to the doctor and get them to take all this down and review it and see what needs to happen. But fortunately at the moment, all systems are go. Um, my exercises are getting better, I'm getting better with them, so I can get it nearly straight and I can curl my fingers pretty good and I can do a fist as well and I can pin some more, so that's good. So because of all the bleeding inside, I don't want the scar tissue to stop all my ligaments from moving, so I've, I've been maintaining those exercises pretty good and I've got pretty good movement, so I'm quite happy with that. Alright, I'll give you another report tomorrow. Thank you for watching Nurse on the Go videos. My name's Phil, and I'm here to help you care. Take care for now. Bye-bye.